Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Quick History. Today we're going to be taking a look at William Harvey, the English doctor, who proved that the heart acted as a pump and that blood circulated around the body. As always, there is a free handout in the description and make sure you click on subscribe if you'd like to see more GCSE history based revision content. Let's get into the details. William Harvey was a famous physician from England during the Renaissance. He rose to such prominence that William Harvey was eventually appointed to be the personal physician for both James I and Charles I of England. William Harvey is important because he discovered that blood circulated around the body and that the heart acted as a pump to do so. This proved that the old theories of Galen, now nearly 2,000 years old, were incorrect. Galen believed that blood was consistently being produced by the liver and that the liver produced blood to replace blood which was being burnt off by the body through physical activity. Galen also believed that blood passed through the body through invisible channels in the heart. Whilst Vesalius, as we've seen in previous videos, proved him incorrect, Vesalius' ideas were still spreading at this point and were not universally accepted. Harvey was able to provide evidence once and for all that Galen's ideas about the heart were incorrect. Harvey did this by conducting four different types of experiment. The first two types of experiment were dissection. Harvey dissected human bodies to get a good understanding of human anatomy, but also conducted experiments on cold-blooded animals. By using cold-blooded animals who have a much slower heart rate, Harvey was able to observe the heart and the blood circulating as he dissected the cold-blooded animals. He also did two further experiments which proved that he was correct. He first of all tried to pump blood the wrong way through the veins. He tried to pump blood past the veins but was unable to do so, proving that blood could only flow in one direction. He also tried to calculate the amount of blood which was coming through the arteries every hour. When he did so, he calculated that the amount of blood going through the arteries every hour was approximately the weight of three men. Therefore, blood had to circulate around the body. This is important because not only did he prove Galen was once again incorrect, but he also provided a death knell for the theory of the four humans. Harvey proved that under no circumstances could a human have too much blood, so the treatment of bleeding and the theory of the four humans were now obsolete. This encouraged doctors in the Renaissance to continue to challenge Galen and to continue to challenge and research and look for new ideas. Join me in the next video when we're going to be talking about the English Hippocrates, Thomas Sydenham. I'll see you there.